Welcome to FX Street. If you like the content we're producing, you want to be updated to it, head on over to YouTube, hit that subscribe button, follow Akash and I on Twitter individually, Akash at Mongeko, and myself at Just Analysis One. Take a look at Bitcoin. Um, so one of the most check out, I, I think I've referenced this, I'm probably like repeating this this thing over and over, but maybe I just feel like I've been writing it and saying it during other sessions, but um the head and shoulders patterns are statistically the most profitable uh, basic patterns in technical analysis. Um, at, well, as far as American bar charts and Japanese candlesticks are concerned, they're the most profitable. Um, however, they are the most rejected as well. And the more obvious the head and shoulders pattern, the more frequently the reje- it gets rejected. And I think we're kind of seeing that that that's thing play out still. You had a lot of interest in in new short positions opening below this neckline that existed since really since last Friday and into um, where we are now. You had uh, uh, and, and then you have some people probably looking at the daily candlestick from yesterday as a bearish engulfing candle for Bitcoin. Um, and you know it's it, it, you know, we're, we're trading at the intraday lows right now. Um, but we're still above the tank and so it's a little, little iffy on if we're going to see a bearish continuation move south here or not. Uh, on the one thousand dollar three box reversal chart, very clear bounce at forty. Uh, uh, sorry, up above the forty k level. Um, uh, hall hail that got the emperor protects for all of you forty k fans out there. Four hundred forty k. <laughs> anybody? Uh, Anyways, um, 44K was the entry, stopped down at 40K. It got up to 45K. It's just, you know, a little bit below that right now. Um, I don't see a lot of uh, reason. I I mean, if the only thing I was looking at was the candlestick chart, I'd be like, oh, God, this looks pretty ugly. And and it could be. Uh, I mean, there's some definite downside risk to retest the 35k zone you look at the weekly chart weekly chart failure to break outside the cloud today could could really just see it hug the upper cloud or it could fall down and test 37 and a half to 38k um that's single span b but otherwise if it breaks out i see it uh it limited to the 50k zone falling point of control on the uh until like we visit again on next Tuesday, downside risks limited to 37 and a half K upside limited to 50 K. That's what I see off to you, Akash. Cool. Uh, my view on Bitcoin's kind of been the same here. Uh, a triple tap setup uh, with the third tap collected liquidity resting below 41,000, which led to this uh, expansion move. So if you measure this from, here it's a 12 percent option that we saw here and it's pretty good considering we collected uh the liquidity here and set a new high uh from the over what, what we opened during the this week so i believe uh the upside for bitcoin is at least forty seven thousand six hundred nine. if i'm being uh conservative but if i want to let it go and like be a little risky take on more risk, then I think 50,150 is like a good level because of the double top formation that we saw here on 7th and 27th December. So uh, that said, right, and like I mentioned in the previous video for Ethereum that uh, I don't believe this to be the bottom where reverse and go on a bull run where Bitcoin sets a new all-time high. Uh, And one of the major reasons why is because of the funding rate for Bitcoin, every time we saw a reversal, uh, there, there was a, quite a bit of a negative funding rate that we saw here, which kind of lured people into r- the wrong directions before we actually uh, trapped them here and then went higher, right? So something kind of similar uh, took place here on 25th September. But now I don't see that sort of funding rate, uh, negative funding rate play up here. So. <clears throat> that is one of the reasons why I believe we're not going to see uh, a massive uh, U-turn and then we go higher. And another reason, as John mentioned, is because of this uh, head and shoulders pattern that we're seeing here. So shoulder, head, and then we finally tag the neckline again. So 
we could probably uh, go up to 51,000, 52,000, which kind of coincides well with this uh, left shoulder that we saw here, around 50,700, which would be perfect considering uh, we have this liquidity zone up here, right? I think in some cases we could see it go up to 55,000, although I think that's unlikely because of the presence of this daily demand zone here, ranging from 55,803 to 57,833. So, Best case scenario, we come to 50, uh, Bitcoin comes to 52,000. Uh, we form the right shoulder and then things kind of resolve from there. If not, we move to 55,000, 56,000, where we kind of get rejected by this daily demand zone here and then we get a directional rest. But if we do get a daily close above uh, 57,000, roughly 58,000, uh, I, I believe there's going to be uh, quite a bit of consolidation or sideways movement here uh, before we actually go up to 62,000 where there is a uh, a small FVG a fair value gap inefficiency in price uh, that we will probably aim to fill as we head higher. Right, so this is what I was talking about, uh, which comes up to 63,593, roughly 63,600. So uh, to sum it up, the short term scenario for me is 48,000, 47,000. Uh, this is where the, the local top is going to be. Beyond this, uh, if I'm being optimistic, it's 52,000. Uh, but we might get a fill of this FVG and get a retest of the daily, daily demand zone. Uh, as for the, the downside, we've collected liquidity that was formed here, uh, the below the triple tap setup that was formed. Uh, that's, that, that's collected here, but we still have quite a bit of uh, liquidity resting below the, this uh, triple tap formation here so i'm going to be cautiously optimistic on bitcoin and a lot of core coins uh regardless this is a good place to kind of buy the dip dca uh so yeah that's my view on bitcoin thank you akash and thank you everybody for watching have a great weekend please don't forget to like comment and subscribe